turn your podcast episodes into YouTube Shorts. Creating highlights or clips from your podcast and uploading them as YouTube Shorts can help you promote your podcast and increase the size of your audience. As most podcasters know, creating clips can be quite time consuming and technical, but not today. We'll be using a simple online video editor called Veet that can auto trim, auto crop and auto subtitle your podcast clips for YouTube Shorts. We'll be using this editor in this example and to get started all you need to do is click on the first link in the description. When you click on the link you automatically open Veet's editor and you can instantly start creating your podcast clips. Now there are a couple of ways how you can create podcast clips. For instance in Veet's editor you can start from scratch or choose one of the amazing templates. I'll show you a couple of examples in this video but first let's try one of the templates. So simply head over to use template. And as you can see in the menu, there are a lot of templates you can choose from. In this case, we're going to search for podcast. And there you have it. So as you can see, I searched for podcast and a couple of templates show up that I can choose from. In this case, I know I want to make one for YouTube shorts. So I want to have a nine by 16 aspect ratio one, or in other words, a vertical video. So all we need to do is head over to the filter where you can see size. I'm going to click on this and choose portrait. And as you can see, now we've got a list of vertical templates we can use for the podcast. In this case, I want to select this one. I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click on start editing. And now we're in Veet's editor with our template and we can fully customize it the way we want. Now, of course, the aspect ratio of this template was already vertical or nine by 16, which is perfect for YouTube shorts. I'll show you this later, but let's say you want to upload a horizontal video and change the size as well. Simply head over to settings in the left menu. And then on this size, you can choose one of the aspect ratios that will fit your needs. For the sake of this video, you can choose YouTube shorts, of course, which is nine by 16. And then in the video canvas, you can further crop the video the way you like. All right, so back to this template, as you can see, there's already a lot done. You can see an audio visualizer and text above, and it looks really clean. Now, first thing I want to do is add my own footage. I'm gonna upload it to this project. There are a couple of ways how you can do it. For instance, you can upload it separately by clicking on add media and then uploading it from your desktop, for instance. But you can also replace it with an existing video file that is present in your project. In this case, in this template, there's already a video. I'm gonna select it. And as you can see in the edit video menu on the left, there's a replace video option. We're gonna click on this and I'm gonna click on upload a file and I'm gonna select the footage that I want to import. For this example, I'm gonna choose podcast episode intro. I'm gonna click on it and click on open. And after a moment, as you can see, my video is imported and it's present in the project. And bear in mind, you can edit everything you see in the video canvas or in your template. You can reposition everything, but you can also resize and rotate everything, change the colors, whatever you prefer. Now, before we dive deeper into the elements, I want to show you how you can trim your footage. So in the bottom timeline menu, you can see your video layer. And obviously there are other layers that will support your video. All the other layers you see were integrated into the template. You can change them, but also remove them. In this case, I'm gonna remove the music. Now you can easily trim your footage manually by clicking and dragging on the sides to extend or shorten the footage. And you can use the split option to filter out a specific section or delete a certain section. But as I mentioned before, there's also an auto trim option. If you click on the video file in the edit video menu, simply scroll down the menu until you can see remove silences. Now in this case, I'm gonna use it for this video as well. So all I need to do is click on remove silences. And as you can see, it automatically trimmed my footage. You can already see where the trimming occurred. So if I play back the video, episode, we're gonna talk about windmills, cows, tulips. You, probably you can see the pauses are removed. All right, so let's shorten these layers. I want to make them at the exact length of the video. There you go. All right, so now let's head over to text. So in the template itself, there's already a text layer. If you click on it, you automatically open a text menu. In this menu, you can easily change the words, but you can also change the font, the sizing, color, background color, add animations, whatever you prefer. Now, if you want to add another text, you simply click on text in the left menu. But if you're in a text layer, you can also scroll down a little bit in the menu and click on add another text box. From here, you can choose a style again and you can fully customize it the way you want. And also keep in mind in the timeline menu, you can click and drag on the sides of the layers to extend or shorten them. All right, next thing I want to do is add automatic subtitles. So to make this happen, head over to subtitles in the left menu, then select auto subtitle, Select the language you speak in your video. In this case, I speak English. 
and then click on create subtitles and watch the magic happen. And there you have it. So after a short moment, you generated your subtitles. From here, you can fully edit the subtitles the way you like. You can merge them, you can split them, you can add new ones, you can extend and shorten them. And under styles, you can fully customize the design of your subtitles. You can select one of the amazing subtitle presets and you can change the font, the sizing, color, background color, add animations, add effects, whatever you need to spice up your subtitles. And in the video canvas, you can further resize, reposition and rotate your subtitles. Now we're pretty much already set, I'm already really content, but additionally, you can also head over to elements and further spice up your clip with progression bars, shapes, emojis, stickers, logos, GIFs, animated stickers, whatever you prefer. Then if you're content and you want to export your clip, simply head over to export in the right top corner, then choose your preferred render settings, then make sure burn subtitles is enabled if you created subtitles, and then click on export video. And just so you know, if you want to create more clips, you can easily save your templates on your account. Now after the clip is rendered, you can easily share your video with your friends and family through the links, but you can also download your clip to your device by heading over to the download button, clicking on the MP4 button, and then it should be in your downloads folder. From here, you can head over to your YouTube channel, upload your video as a YouTube short, and then you successfully created a YouTube short or clip from your podcast and uploaded it for the public to see. Next, I'm gonna show you one last example how you can create a podcast clip, but this time from scratch. So as you can see, we started a new project. I'm gonna click on upload a file. I'm gonna select this recording I created with Salem, a friend of mine, and I'm gonna click on open. After a moment, as you can see, the recording is imported. Now we're gonna do this one a little bit more fast paced to show you what is possible. Again, I want to create a YouTube short out of this. So first thing I want to do is change the aspect ratio. Again, we're gonna head over to settings in the left menu and on the size, we're gonna select YouTube short. Now we changed the aspect ratio, but as you can see, the video is not completely visible. So what we're gonna do now is click on the video file itself and in the edit video menu, under the three dots, we're gonna click on fit to canvas. Of course, you can further crop it by using the side and corner options. I'm gonna remove the black bars, which is really hard to see now because the background is black as well. Now that I talk about it, if you wanna change the background color, all you need to do is head over to settings and on the background, you can choose the color you like. In this case, I wanna keep it black because I think it looks really clean. Next, I want to trim the footage, but I want to save myself a lot of time. So again, we're gonna auto trim it. So again, all we need to do is click on the video file, scroll down in the edit video menu and click on remove silences. And as you can see, if I open the sound wave layer in the menu, you can see that the silences are indeed removed. So now we auto cropped and auto trimmed our footage. Now I want to add a title. So we're gonna head over to text in the left menu. You can choose one of the presets, but in this case, I'm gonna choose headline title. And again, you can fully edit and change the text the way you prefer it. In this example, we're talking about why you should visit Rotterdam. So that will be my title. Now, before I add subtitles, I want to move every single layer up a little bit. So I'm gonna click and drag over the canvas. So I select everything and then I'm gonna raise it just a tiny bit. So as I said, again, I'm gonna create automatic subtitles. So we're gonna repeat the steps. I'm gonna head over to subtitles, select auto subtitle, select the language we speak in this video. In this case, it's English, and then click on create subtitles. And there you have it. So the subtitles are created. And again, you can fully edit it. You can change the style whatever you prefer. In this case, I want to add a cool animation. So I'm gonna head over to animation and select one of the animations. In this case, I'm gonna do highlight. I think that looks really cool. Let's play it back. Well, I think that um, a, lot of, a lot of times when people visit- Nice, I love it, I love it. And there you have it. Again, we just did it in a few minutes. And next thing I want to do, the last thing is add a progression bar. I'm gonna head over to elements and I'm gonna head over to progress bars. I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna place it in between the video footage and the title. Then I'm gonna extend this. There you go, I'm gonna change the color to blue. Nice, so if I play back the video, you will see the progress bar working. And then again, if you're satisfied, you can easily export your video and download it to your device. And again, upload it to your YouTube channel as a YouTube short. Now, just so you know, Veet has its own podcast creation tool. You can easily customize the overlay, but you can also invite guests and you can even multi-stream it to your audience. But no matter if you record your podcast offline or live, you will find a copy of your recording in your dashboard, which you can fully repurpose like the way we just did. This way you can easily record and repurpose your podcast in one software. 
Again, you can try Veet for free through the first link in the description. All right, thank you so much for watching. That's how you create YouTube shorts from your podcast. I hope this video was helpful. For now, have a nice day, good luck, and see you next time.